So I thought that I would get away with planting them in these two inch pots up until um, time where I needed to transplant them, but they're very unhappy in here and want more leg room. So I am going to be repotting them into four inch pots because they still have a little bit more than a month left inside and I do not think that they will last in these two inch pots for more than a week longer. So it worked out to where I have exactly 36 pepper plants and each of these um, trays holds 18. So I have exactly 36 uh, four inch pots that will fit into one of my trays. So it's perfect. Now the reason why I say that they are not happy in here is if you look, you can see the roots. Oh, maybe if it'll focus. You can see the roots kind of in this corner and on the bottom here starting to poke through. So that's saying that they have reached their max and they're starting to get clumped up at the bottom of their pots. So they need more room in order to grow properly. So I'm gonna get started mixing up my soil in uh, my bowl here and then we'll fill the trays and then transplant my peppers. For the consistency of your seed starting mix, um, Ideally, I would have other soil that's half seed starting mix and half of the actual soil that my plants are going to be going into, but I do not have that, so I'm just doing more seedling soil. Uh, and I'll just mix up the water till it's evenly spread. And you want kind of a crumbly consistency where if you squeeze it, you're not gonna get more than two drops of water out otherwise if you get more than two drops you have too much water and you need to add more soil if you if it doesn't kind of stick together when you crush it then that means it's too dry and you need to add more water so this is a pretty good texture consistency right now um, so I will just start filling up my pots. I don't want to fill them too full right now, probably just about halfway because I am going to be putting my pepper plants in here and they will need space to be placed and then I'll fill in around the rest of my pepper plant. With the seedling soil so what I'm gonna do is I'm trying to figure out what kinds I want to put where so my yellow monster peppers I have nine so I'll just do nine and then I think my orange bell peppers I have nine as well so I'll do nine yellow nine orange and we'll go from there so something that you want to take into consideration on how deep you want to put your seedling is there are these little, I don't know if you can see them, white uh, dots at the end. I'm kind of moving it a lot, sorry. 
at the bottom of the stem and those are roots that are trying to grow and branch out and those roots will create a stronger healthier plant if they are under the soil and you let them branch out so what i will do is i will plant the pepper almost up to these two first two um leaves and some people will even bury the first two leaves and go up about halfway up the stem because it creates a sturdier plant and even up on this stem part if you bury it uh, the pepper will produce more um, roots that will grow out of that stem so the deeper that you plant your pepper plant the outside or in your new pot inside the stronger your and sturdier your pepper will be um i'm not concerned about these peppers being weak seedlings i put a fan on them every single day for about an hour or more um so they get sort of artificial wind and they have built a strong stem so i will go ahead and just plant to these two first two leaves also when planting your pepper plant you never want to grab the plant by the stem because that could really disturb the roots you want to loosen up the soil and have it fall into your hand kind of like this this is a wonderful example of the plant starting to become root bound and needing more leg room these roots are pretty tight together and if i wouldn't repot them soon they it would restrict growth and um, potentially stunt my seedling all right so let's plant this one loosen it up fall in my hand i'm gonna dig we'll do this one i'm gonna dig a small space out for it and put it in the middle here press it down a little then we will refill around the stem kind of have it spaced evenly and then i'm not going to like compact the seedling but i'm just going to press down a little bit just to firm the top of the soil and get it any air pockets that might be in underneath the soil out because those can uh, kill your seedling. Alrighty, so that's basically it. Um, I'm gonna repot all the rest of these now. peppers are all taken care of now I'll start my yellow monster the roots on this one I don't know if you can tell they're just dying to get out all right I got those two planted now I have 10 emerald giant ones, three sweet pickled peppers, and five not opinions. So I'll probably put the sweet pickled pepper at one of the ends, do the emerald giants for the majority of the other in the middle, and then the not opinions will go at the other end. Alrighty, so they are all finished. Uh, I think they will be much happier with the four inch pots than the two inch that they were in and i'll just know for next year to start out by planting them in the four inch pots that shouldn't be a problem so thanks guys for watching today and i will see you next time